Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over the basics of how to search your files in File Center. Now, before you can search your files, it's important that you set up indexing, and we cover that in a separate video. So if you haven't set up your indexing yet, please watch that first. Now, inside of File Center, you've got a couple of ways to search. The first that we're going to look at is right here, the Search tab. This is a dedicated screen where you can execute searches across your entire computer if you're using Windows Search, which we highly recommend. You can also search across multiple cabinets at the same time. To perform a search, all I need to do is enter some search terms right here in the Search For field. For example, I'm going to search for wills in my documents, or any document that references a will. And testament is a good term to use for that, since will is probably going to be a little more broadly used than just testament. I'm going to come down here now and select the cabinets that I want to search. I'm going to search these three cabinets. And let's execute our search by clicking the search button right here. Now I've got a lot of results here. More results than really are useful. So I want to narrow this a little bit. I've got a few options here that can help me narrow down the range of my results. First of all, I can limit my results to a specific type of file. In my case, I really only want to see Word documents. So I'm going to select that and re-execute my search. And now you'll notice only Word documents are showing up in the results. I can also limit my results to a specific date range. This can be a range of dates. This can be a period of time up to a specific date. These can be documents after a specific date. And that can sometimes be helpful for searching for really old documents or very, very new documents. I'm also going to limit my search by excluding a couple of cabinets. In fact, the only cabinet I really want to look at is my client's cabinet. I want to look at wills that I've made for my clients or that are currently being made for my clients. So I'm going to deselect these cabinets and click Search. And there we go. Much, much better results. At this point, I can turn on my preview window so that I can look at what these files have in them, find out which one is what I'm looking for. And that looks good, so I'll close my previewer. And I can open this file. I could double click it, or I could select it and come over here and say Open. And that's going to open my file in Microsoft Word so that I can make some edits to it. But sometimes I don't want to open the file. I just want to know where the file is in one of my cabinets. In that case, this button right here is very, very handy. It's the Locate button. If I select a file and click Locate, it's going to jump to the file's location inside of my cabinets, like so. And there's the file inside of the Lloyd Goodwin drawer right here inside of my cabinet. So there's a very nice and easy way to locate a file and then jump to it inside of your cabinet. Next, let's explore another way to search, one which you might actually find even more simple to use than using the Search tab. You'll notice that when you're looking in your cabinets, there's a Search option right above the list of files. You can use this option to search the current cabinet you're in. In fact, you can even limit that search to just a specific drawer or a specific folder. Let's see how that works. When I click this button, it brings up a window of search options. And you will notice that these options are exactly the same as the options that we saw over on the Search tab, with one important difference. I don't have the option to search more than one cabinet. I'm restricted to searching the cabinet that I'm in. But it does provide a new option, which is really a very, very powerful feature. It gives me the option to search the selected folder. And here's what that means. It will limit the search to wherever my selection is in File Center. For example, if I'm selected on a drawer, it's going to search only the contents of that drawer. If my selection is on a folder within a drawer, it's going to limit the search to only that folder. Now, I'm actually going to cancel out of here. So I can come over here and change my selection to just the drawer. And then we're going to come back in and do a couple of searches so you can see how this works. This time, I want to search for deeds. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say search for deed. And I'm going to search the entire cabinet. And let's see what comes up. I've got a number of deeds here. And if I look at the paths, I can see that these are coming from really quite a few different drawers. This time, I want to re-execute my search, but I want to limit it to just the drawer that I'm in. 
So I come back to the search button. It brings back my search term, and I'm going to change it to selected folder and run the search. And there we go. These are all of the deeds that are located inside of this specific drawer. Now, the other thing to notice is that these search results come up right here inside of the file view. But do note that the background color changes so you know that you're looking at search results and not the files that are inside of your drawer. And as before, I can double click one of these files to open it. I can select it and click locate and it's going to jump to that file's location inside of my search results. I can select a file and I can hit the preview window to take a look at it. And then when I'm done dealing with my search results, I click this X right here and it closes the search results and goes back to my full cabinet view with my drawers, folders, and files. So that's a quick primer on how to execute searches inside a file center. Be sure to continue watching other videos in this series where we're going to cover how to construct search queries that really narrow down your searches and focus in on the very specific files that you're looking for.